Hello guys, in this video we will see the arithmetic operators available in Java. Now arithmetic operators are used for the same purpose as we use them in ordinary algebra like we can perform some mathematical calculations. So these are the operators plus minus multiplication division this operator is called as mod operator which is denoted by percent sign then increment operator is there and decrement operator is there. So for first four operators plus minus multiplication and division the meaning is same as that of our mathematical meaning ok. So now we will see this mod operator in uh, detail like mod operator will give you the remainder of the division. So for example suppose I divide this 7 number by 4 then in this case the quotient will be 1 and I will get remainder as 3. So quotient is given by this division operator and remainder is given by the mod operator. So if I say 7 mod 4 then it will give me the answer 3. Then increment operator is there and decrement operator is there. Now increment operator will increment the value of the integer by 1 and decrement operator will decrement the value of integer by 1. Again there are two types in that one is pre increment post increment and similarly pre decrement post decrement. So here some example is given where there are few variables declared a, b, c, d having values 10, 20, 25, 25 correspondingly and few outputs are printed. So you can easily calculate the outputs for a plus b, a minus b, a multiplication, division. For b mod a what will be the output? b is 20, a is 10. So b mod a will give me the remainder of 20 divided by 10 which will be 0. So this will be 0 b mod a, c mod a, c mod a, c value is 25, a value is 10. So remainder will be 5. Then a plus plus means it is post increment. So post increment means first it will print the value of the variable and then it will increment the variable. So value of a is 10. So that is printed first. So output will be 10 and after that statement the value of a will become 11. A minus minus for a minus minus it will take the previously incremented value which is 11 and from that it will decrement. So output will be 11 but after that statement value will become 10. Now in case of d variable post decrement and post increment and pre increment. So you can calculate the value 25 is the value of d it will print that value and, and d will become 26 and again pre increment means from 26 it will increment to 27 and that value will be printed. So this will be the output of the program. So let us implement this program practically so that we can cross check. To demonstrate arithmetic operators, I have taken one class, test class. Main method is implemented. There are four variables a, b, c, d with values 10, 20, 25, 25 respectively. Now I am printing few outputs like a plus b, a minus b, a multiplication b, b divided by a, b mod a, c mod a, a plus plus, a minus minus, d plus plus and plus plus d. I will run this code. Let me cross check the values a plus b is 30 so it is correct then a minus b is 10 minus 20 minus 10 a into b is 200 10 into 20 b divided by a is 2 20 by 10 b mod a is 0 20 mod 10 if I divide 20 by 10 remainder will be 0 so b mod a will be 0 c mod a will be 5 because if I divide 25 which is c value by 10 which is a value remainder will be 5 a plus plus will give 10 because a original value is 10 now post increment is there so first value is printed and then it is incremented to 11 so on to the next line where a minus minus is there 11 is printed and then minus minus will come into the picture which will make it 10 again after it prints the value then d plus plus and plus plus d for d the original value is 25 d plus plus will 
print the value first 25 and then it will increment that to 26 now this 26 value will be taken as input to the plus plus d so that is again incremented to 27 from 26 it is incremented to 27 because it is pre-increment and then it is printed so all the outputs are correct